Hello and welcome to this Minecraft Forge modding tutorial. I'm SciGuy1121 and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create a custom fuel. Now to begin I'm starting off with the source code from my um, custom item texture tutorial. You can go to that tutorial and download uh, the code that I'll be starting with from there. But let's go ahead and get started. To actually create our custom fuel we're going to, well, we already have it created, we just need to register it as a fuel. And to do that, we're going to have to create a new class. And this is going to be, um, I'm going to call it Tutorial Fuel Handler. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. And this class is going to implement I Fuel Handler. And then you need to import I Fuel Handler if it'll okay um, we'll fix that issue later okay, import ifuel handler from cpw.mods um, and then we have an error because we have an unimplemented method here we can go ahead and just click on the error to add that method um, if no pop-up appears for you then the method is public int get burn time with a parameter of item stack fuel. And the way we're going to use this to register our um, item is we're going to say if fuel dot um, item ID equal equal tutorial dot item tutorial dot item ID then we're going to return the amount of time that our fuel will burn. I believe coal is somewhere around 1600, um, but I'm not sure exactly. So I'm just going to say 800, so it'll burn uh, pretty quickly. I think that'll be about four uh, burn cycles. And now, um, afterwards, we're just going to say return zero because we have to return something um, but if you wanted to add multiple fuels you don't have to create a whole new class and do all of this again you can just um, add an else statement to this if statement and we can say else well else if fuel dot dot item id equal equal and uh, for this example, let's use a diamond. So we can say item dot diamond dot item ID. Then we can return, say, 20,000. And that'll burn for a really, really long time. Um, so that is actually most of the code uh, for actually registering, registering the item as a fuel. Now we actually have to register our fuel handler as a fuel handler. And the way we're going to do this is inside of our load method. I'm going to put it after um, we registered item tutorial because it uses um, the item tutorial. We're going to say game registry, if I can type, dot game registry because I cannot type there is no E in game registry. Well, there is, but not there. Dot register fuel handler. And we're going to say new tutorial fuel handler. And that is going to be it for the code. Now, if we go ahead and run the game to test out our code. Then we go into our creative world. Yes, I want to continue loading. Then we can search for our tutorial item and we'll get some diamonds and we'll get some wood. I'll just get a big stack of wood and then a furnace.
So, if we add our wooden and then we add our tutorial item, you'll see that it's going to burn um, not long. You'll see it's going down a bit faster than if we added coal in, but it does work. And then if we added in our diamond, it's going to burn for a very, very long time and cook quite a bit of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if it cooked this entire um, half stack of 32. But that is going to be the end of this tutorial. Source code is in the description as usual. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.